All right, I have uh, two versions of QB64 uh, Phoenix editions installed. This is version 391. I have the 32-bit and 64-bit, and both of them don't work. And by don't work, I mean they don't compile. So let's take a look at the 32-bit uh, one first. And um, let's just do a simple hello program. And let's... Uh, just hit start and we get a C++ compilation failed and points you to the uh, a log file to to check out and I've gone through this and there's nothing useful in there and going by the error message if you google this uh, you're um, pointed to a number of uh, forums that indicate this is a Ming G C++ uh, path error that's not correct um, it is a path issue, but not with the C++ compiler. Uh, let's uh, just uh, make sure that you know it's not specific to, to the 32-bit version. Let's also run the 64-bit version and try the same thing. And and let's do the same thing again. Where did it go? Here we go. Print hello. And we get the same error. Now, uh, if we take a look in my uh, system settings and we go into environment variables, under system variables here, we go under uh, path. And let's just see what we have there. And uh, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, I have a path setting here for an older version of QB64. And the reason I have that is so I can run QB64 from any path, basically. So I'm in my temp folder here. I can do QB64, and I can launch it. And here we go. It's spawned in my other monitor. So I just brought it over here. We can check the, the version number, and this is 1.2. Now, some of you may have the same kind of setup, and this is the reason why uh, the new versions are failing. It's because uh, you have this path setting in there that's conflicting with the new installs. So let's just remove it and uh, see what happens. So let's, uh, I'm just going to close this and close this down as well. And let's go back to our folder where we have our QB64 installs of the latest version, 391. So let's run the 32-bit version now. And let's try again the same thing. Print hello. Run, start. And Let's see, what did I mess up now? Properties. Did I not remove it? No, I did not remove it. Okay. Let's try this again. 